Hey everybody, hope you're well. Um, got a bunch of questions about playing through chord changes. So I wanted to introduce this exercise called uh, the continuous scale. That's the way I, I was taught uh, at least. And um, <clears throat> basically the idea is that you play through a tune. Um, you start in the first chord and you play the scale. And then as the next chord comes, you continue in the same direction uh, and so on and so forth. You, you don't change directions or where you are. So basically wherever the first scale drops you off, you continue on the next tonality. I'll, I'll show you an example. So uh, pick any tune. Actually, don't pick any tune. Don't take a tune that, uh, <laughs> don't pick any tune. Let's try to take a tune that uh, has uh, different tonalities, right? So like, for example, this would be a bad choice. Autumn leaves. Right, because all those chords, even though yes, you can you can when you solo you can uh, uh, spell out the different chord tones. You can kind of show where you are in playing. They do come from the same pool. They come. They all come from G major uh, or E minor. So pick a tune that has chord changes that um, have a lot of movement. So for example, I like to work on Stella by Starlight. Right. So like. Uh, Half diminished to uh, A altered, then you'll go to C minor, F7, F minor, B flat 13, E major 7, A flat 13, uh, E half diminished, A altered, a 2 5 to D minor, right? Then you go to uh, a B flat minor, E flat 7. So people play this differently. So uh, I like to play it like this. All right. Some people go through G. They'll play. Um, anyway, it's not. It's not a tutorial on, on Stella by Starlight. But uh, basically, pick the chords that you like. You can always reharm stuff later. But. Um, Start on the first chord, right? Don't start on the root. This is, this is a great exercise for uh, eliminating uh, root biases, as, as people call them, like thinking immediately of the root when you go to a different scale. Uh, and the idea is to just see the scale as a new group of notes with different intervals and uh, to get fluid with that. I'm constantly working on it. I mean, I don't have it figured out yet, but um, this is a great way to iron that out. So again, go to the E half diminished, right? Start, uh, I don't know, on the G on the minor third and then go G, A, B flat, C. Now, wherever it dropped you off, pick up over that A alter, right? That's the next chord. So from C, we continue up a half step to C sharp. Uh, D sharp, F, G. You know, so you got this line. And maybe continue to C. Uh, now you see, I'm not starting on any chord tone, I'm, I'm playing A, which is the sixth of C. But because I'm in that scale mode, it's okay. I'm not trying to outline the chords. And then F7 kind of shares the, the the same group of notes. Even though it's not the same scale, it does share the same uh, family as, as C minor, right? It's that 2-5 thing. So they both come from, from uh, B flat major, right? Uh, and same with, you know, like the E. Half diminished comes from G melodic minor, right? The A altered comes from B, B flat melodic minor. So those are th three different tonalities, completely different tonalities uh, for those four chords. Um, and you get this line, you get. It's not, there's no scale that contain, contains those intervals, but you get a fluid uh, motion, right? So this is a great way to get fluid lines. Um, and what I do personally is I play this excruciatingly slow. What I do is I, I, I'll make a MIDI track like I have here for Stella by Starlight and I go super, super slow. I'll play quarter notes, literally. And the idea is to be deliberate about it and to not make little mistakes. You, you wanna really nail all those tiny chord changes. Uh, and if you feel like you, you got it together, play it in thirds, play it in fourths, you know, uh, play, uh, uh, you know. Right. Uh, right. 
I, that's like, uh, sorry, let, let me be a little more clear. Like diatonic thirds, right? So A, B flat, B, C. Now you go. Right? And then for C, you go. So you can, there's, there's a lot of variations. You can do all kinds of devices to make it harder on yourself. You could technically go faster. Sometimes I do go faster, but only if I really feel comfortable. You, most of the times I'll, I'll play the, the exercise super slow. And if I feel like I got it together, which is <laughs> never, um, but in those very cases that I feel very comfortable about it, I'll pick a harder tune. The idea is to, is to train your mind to switch. It's not about the dexterity of what you're playing. It's about how can you wrap your mind around those chord changes and really be fluid in seeing the entire scope of that tonality uh, as opposed to just playing lines that are dope. And ultimately it will uh, lead to playing lines that are like, you know, uh, fluid, like a... Right? Those, those are all lines that are based on that continuous scale exercise because I'm using uh, lines that go across the bar lines and then I'll change directions, not necessarily based on where the chord is dictating, you know, because you don't want to play the tune like this. You know what I'm saying? Anyways, you get my point. So take, take this backing track, make yourself a backing track and go super slow. So let's start on G again, then the minor third. All right, and you go to C sharp. Now I'm in C minor. F7. F minor, maybe change directions there. And here's another thing. Uh, like, if you want, because we're going so slow, sometimes I'll play the raised 11th just to avoid those like nasty four, you know, that's just a nasty sound. Uh, so if you hear me playing Lydian stuff, uh, that's, that's the reason. Uh, anyway, one more time. Let's start in a different spot now. Let's start on, on B flat, on the flat five of E, right? So we go... Right, interesting. C minor. F7. F minor. B flat, maybe go down. E flat major seven. Lydian. A flat, sorry. B flat. It's hard to talk about. See? Weird. Now B flat minor. F. Let in. Ah, sorry. G altered. See what I'm saying? C minor. Change. B uh, A flat. Uh, Lydian dominant. Sorry. B flat major seven. Sorry. Right. 
Anyway, so you go through a tune and you play as if you're playing a scale and you just change the interval based on um, on what chord is, is uh, happening underneath you. But don't don't pick tunes that are, are um, you know, Okay, here's a new, but all those chords, the initial chords are, you know, they're all coming from the same scale. So pick stuff that's a little more advanced in terms of movement and go super slow. There's no shame in that and get comfortable with it. And you will find that even after a few days of doing this, your lines are going to get um, super fluid and it's going to eliminate, like I said before, that root bias where like you think every chord starts on the root or even if you have another place that you're comfortable with the third or the fifth it will eliminate the whole need to jump to a familiar place and no matter where you end up you're gonna be you know playing anyway but you know I'm, I'm just playing stuff that's not even necessarily part of a tune but I'm just hearing chord changes You know, you get comfortable with playing lines that have something to do with the tonality and you don't get stuck with like jumping to familiar places. So hopefully that, that helps uh, playing against chord changes um, and getting comfortable with movements. And uh, I hope I didn't confuse. All right. Be well. Later.